In the following example question, uh, I'm going to try and uh, find the lattice energy of calcium chloride and uh, using a born haber cycle and uh, it's, there's some information that's provided. The standard enthalpy change of formation is given, which is minus 796 kilojoules per mole. Uh, the standard enthalpy change of atomization of calcium is also known and the electron affinity per mole of chlorine is also known. Now, uh, uh, there's one uh, thing that... Uh, that an energy axis is given so you have to draw the born neighbor cycle according to the energy axis now i've been asked to draw the born neighbor cycle on this energy axis remember uh, the energy axis when you're using the energy axis going upwards means that something is gaining energy it's endothermic moving downwards means something is losing energy that means it's uh, it's exothermic so i'm going to start off as usual with the standard enthalpy of formation this uh, first equation over here and as you can see it's a uh, standard enthalpy change of formation is given as exothermic which means standard enthalpy change of formation is when one mole of a substance which in this case is is calcium chloride CaCl2 solid one mole is formed from its constituent elements so so the elements that are forming calcium chloride are Ca and it should be in its standard state so it's a solid and cl2 gas so cl2 gas these are the elements that are forming calcium chloride so this is your enthalpy change of formation and the value is given as minus 796 kilojoules per mole so it's an exothermic process so uh, uh, the the product it has a lower energy it has lost energy so the arrow is downwards and now I'm going to construct the born Haber cycle this is my first path now I'm going to create another path of forming uh, calcium chloride using calcium and chlorine so there's another path that's going to be created and Hess law states uh, that the energy changes of two parts are the same as long as they represent the same reaction the same products and the same reactants so this other path is going to have exactly the same energy change and we're going to use that to find the lattice enthalpy so the second thing that's given is the standard enthalpy change of atomization of uh, calcium and it's positive which means that if you atomize calcium so if you go if you go upwards you atomize calcium calcium changes into gaseous atom that is what is meant by the standard enthalpy change of atomization that one mole of gaseous atoms are formed from its element uh, nothing happens to chlorine so I'm going to write that down as it is so chlorine is in it's in gaseous state uh, so this here is your standard enthalpy of atomization and this value is 178 plus 178 uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, I need to break the bonds of chlorine uh, remember breaking the bonds of chlorine to get chlorine atoms that's also going to be an endothermic process so the next step is uh, calcium is as it is it's gaseous and you end up breaking two bonds of chlorine uh, one bond of chlorine so you get two Cl gaseous atoms and this is equal to the bond energy of so it's equal to the bond energy of chlorine which is uh, 242 in the data booklet so you need this value uh, from the data booklet it's, uh, it you can't find it uh, anywhere else uh, uh, it's not in the question so it's uh, in the data booklet so find it in the data booklet so you break one bond of chlorine so that you get two chlorine gaseous atoms then what you're going to do is because you need to form calcium chloride then calcium chloride has calcium ions and chlorine ions so what you need to do is you need to ionize calcium so you need to convert calcium to calcium 2 plus it should lose two electrons chlorine remains as it is I'm not doing anything with chlorine so ionization is also an endothermic process so the arrow is going upwards uh, you're gaining energy calcium 2 plus means uh, losing two electrons so you need to find uh, the first and the second ionization energy of uh, of calcium so I need to look it look it up in the data booklet and the value that is given in the data booklet for calcium is uh, 590 and 1150 so 
So the first and second ionization energies are 590 and 1150. Values are provided. Calcium loses, gaseous calcium atom loses two electrons. Um, so that is calcium 2 plus being formed. Now these two electrons are going to be gained by chlorine. So the next step is uh, we're going to be moving downwards now. So the next step is that uh, calcium is 2 plus so I'm not doing anything with that. It's gaseous. But the two chlorines, they end up gaining two electrons to form chlorine minus one. And the reason I'm moving downwards now is that uh, the electron affinity, this is electron affinity when chlorine gains an electron to form Cl minus one. So the electron affinity per mole of chlorine is given as minus 349 kilojoules per kilojoules per mole. So this is the electron affinity of chlorine and it has to be multiplied by two because you ha you two of your chlorine atoms are gaining an electron each so that would be multiplied by two and finally the last step is you have gaseous ions now two plus and minus one cl minus one and they're going to end up forming cacl2 so this last step over here is your lattice enthalpy so this step over here is going to be your it's going to be your lattice enthalpy and it's also moving downwards which means that it is exothermic and we need to find this lattice enthalpy so so i've drawn the born haber cycle now according to the energy axis moving upwards means a gain of energy moving downwards means a loss of energy so so uh, Hess law states that one path is equal to uh, the sum of all the other uh, some of the other parts. The energy changes of one path are the same as the energy changes of the other part. So I'm going to mark two parts now, and I'm going to make them e equal to each other. So this path in red over here, the enthalpy change of formation, uh, is equal to this other path over here, which includes the enthalpy of atomization, the bond energy of chlorine. The first and second ionization energies of calcium, uh, the electron affinity of chlorine multiplied by 2 and lattice enthalpy. So this path, uh, the other alternate path is this one. So the energy changes of the two paths are going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to try uh, start doing my calculations now. So, so my enthalpy of formation which is minus 796 is going to be equal to the energy changes uh, of enthalpy of atomization which is 178 followed by the bond energy of CLCL bond which is 242 then followed by the first and second ionization energies which are 590 and 1150 for calcium uh, followed by the electron affinity where electrons are gained by CL so that's minus 349 into 2 plus the lattice enthalpy which is the only unknown in the equation so this is my equation now I have equated the two paths energy changes of the two paths and I need to make lattice enthalpy the subject of the equation and I would be able to find the lattice enthalpy so so I'm going to start doing calculation on my calculator be very careful with the calculations be very careful with the values and the negative and positive signs a lot of people make a lot of mistakes so always double check your calculation especially when your calculations involve a lot of values and the answer on my calculator for lattice enthalpy that I'm getting is by solving the above equation is minus 2258 kilojoules per mole which uh, also logically looks correct because lattice enthalpy is always exothermic because the lattice is being formed bond formation is exothermic plus the value is generally in the range of 1000 to 3000 so this value fits perfectly in that particular range so this value looks perfectly uh, correct.